I'm not cooking tonight. Because we bought a $30 fill up at KFC. Sometimes you just need to take it easy from the grill and let the grill cool off. $20 fill up, the original chicken. Two things, of, large things of mashed potatoes. A large container of coleslaw. Four beautiful golden KFC biscuits. And what does the chicken look like? Well, you know KFC. If it's from KFC, it's off the chain. That's what I'm talking about. Just look at the crunchy, golden, delicious chicken. All right, it's time to eat chicken. I'm not grilling out tonight. Okay, my friends. I got a $20 KFC fill-up bucket. And what does it come with? It comes with eight pieces of chicken. It comes with two breasts. It comes with two breasts, four thighs, right, Sonia? Yep. And two drumsticks. Two breasts, four thighs, and two drumsticks. I've already ate some, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you straight up. And I've ate a lot, this a lot in the past, but I will eat a few, maybe another piece. And this. It comes with four biscuits, eight pieces of chicken, which is two breasts, four thighs, two drumsticks. It comes with three large side orders. We got a large slaw, two large side orders of, uh, we got a large slaw, two large side orders of mashed potatoes, and of course it comes with the gravy. So there you have it with the four biscuits, the three large sides, the eight pieces of chicken. For $20, you can't beat it with a stick. You sure cannot. Boy, that chicken sure is lip smacking good. I'll give the coleslaw an eight. It is that good. No, I'm not going to go give it an eight. I think it should have slightly more mayonnaise. I like it. I'm going to give it a seven. The chicken, I give the chicken a, a ten. I mean, it's and, and I have eight Bojangles here lately and pie pies. And the one thing about KFC, ninety percent of the time the chicken is consistent. It is it is consistently good ninety percent percent of the time. Bojangles I have found to be hit and miss. I guess it's caught on who's cooking it. One day Bojangles is great, the next day it's overcooked and it's dry and it's tough. Popeyes, uh, hit and miss too. There we have it, the 20 piece. I give the chicken an eight, I mean a 10. The chicken a 10, I give the coleslaw a seven, I give the biscuits a 10. Eh, I ain't gonna say a 10, a nine. I'm gonna give them a nine. They're moist, tastes like a biscuit should. The chicken's slightly crunchy. The white meat tastes great. The mashed taters are soft, thick, fulfilling, and taste outstanding. I'll give the mashed taters a 10. i give the gravy a 7. So there we have. Overall, for the entire $20 fill-up bucket, I give it an I give it a 8 on Big O's food rating scale from 0 to 10. I give it an 8. Thanks for watching, my friends. And if you ain't laughing, you ain't living. Please hit that subscribe button down in the lower right-hand corner. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some good comments. Do you like KFC? Or do you like Popeyes? Or do you like Bojangles? I like KFC best. And then between Popeyes and Bojangles, I think, as far as the chicken, I think I like KFC best, Bojangles second, and Popeyes third. Now you know the rest of the story. And no, I'm not Paul Harvey. And remember, my friends, to like, comment, subscribe. Please remember to hit the subscriber button down in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, continue to share my videos, help my channel to move forward. I appreciate everybody taking the time out of their busy days to watch my channel. Right here in East Tennessee, Kingsport, Sullivan County. Mountain life, mountain life. Have a wonderful evening.